All right, so I'm gonna give everybody a review on this. This is the uh, Caddis float tube, the Platinum Elite. Has the uh, oars, has a little uh, stabilizer bar you can use. Um, I'm only reviewing this because I couldn't find the information on this, honestly. I can see it for sale at Sportsman's Warehouse, Cabela's, and um, Bass Pro Shop. REI used to sell it, but they discontinued it. But on those sites, all you get is a little bit of customer feedback, which honestly, 90% of it was really good. There was a couple negatives, and you know, there's always going to be a negative somewhere. But you know, for the most part, people who have it seem to really like it. But again, there's not one review out there. So I just want to share this. This is my box. I got it today. You know, it's not a big box, really. Um, it gives you dimensions on here. It's, uh, this says it is 28 pounds. The box was 19.5 by 30 by 11.5. All right. Now this here on the box itself, it gave a little different description on here. Um, it was 31.5 pounds. So I'm not sure. Maybe the box is, weight's different than what this label weight is, and I'm going to go with the label weight. And that's the entire package. Um, I got a bad back. I'm actually recording this with a really bad back. I went huckleberry picking and took a nasty fall and so my back's a little messed up. But I just want to share this with you because I've really been looking at different boats with a bad back. Let me see the picture with you so you can see it. So with the bad back, I am um, always conscious about weight. And it's not just the weight, it's the, the, the um, size of the object. You know, the bigger it is, even though it's not that heavy, it gets awkward and it's cumbersome for me to carry and not hurt my back. Well, not really hurt my back here two days ago. So I'm really thinking about that even more so. So I got this today. Um, it came in this box. I mean, this is literally how the box was. So it was it was pretty hammered. Uh, they said there's a problem that they would uh, take care of me. That was at Sportsman's Warehouse. I opened everything up. It came complete. So I was going to show the unboxing, but it really doesn't seem to make sense. So this today, I'm going to bring this over here. That is the bag. That's what everything's in right now. So I thought that was really cool. And you can see this bag has lots of room left in it and stuff. It's not, it's, it's not packed. It's just there. And this is the contents. You get two of these zip bags. Um, one thing I'm disappointed in. There was no directions. There's no, there's no documentation. There's not a thing in this box. Um, now maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe it's in this. Nope. This is just a patch kit. Doesn't even, didn't even really give you much information on that. Your two pouches that attach to the pontoon. They are Velcroed on. There's some hooks here. I don't know if these hooks hook in anything else. It'd be nice if there's something else on the boat for them to hook into this Velcro. So I sometimes put a lot of tackle in there. They. Uh, It'd be an expensive loss. Your um, little stripping apron. People are complaining that it's in um, metric instead of obviously inches being here in the U.S. But that's pretty pretty minimal. That fit in there. Then you have your two-piece bar. This guy will just quickly stamp together here and. That is your stabilizer bar there, down there where your uh, feet would go. So that's that bar there. I'm gonna put that back in here so it doesn't get lost. Oars comes with a collapsible or, or not collapsible, but a two-piece oar set. Four-piece if you count the actual pieces of there. Two-piece oar. So they look all right. Nothing, nothing too fancy, but not bad. Again, that all fit in the bag. And came with the uh, decent foot pump. Has a screw-on valve, screw on here for the ports you can inflate deflate right here which is nice you got your out and in so that was a nice uh, pump actually Let's see how it lasts and in the seat and, and this is the one thing you know I surprised the seat's almost as big as the whole kayak or the pontoon I should say Let's pull this guy out of here that's your seat this thing's man this is like super duty I mean this is really strong stuff here Get Velcros in, get your, your valve system. Um, somebody says drop stitch. I don't see this as being drop stitch. I mean, I could be wrong, but I just didn't think that was drop stitch, not from the fill up and stuff. But man, this is this is stronger than the old rubber tu inner tubes we used to use when we wrapped down the rivers and stuff as kids. That's some good material. And then here it is. 
the boat itself. One thing I liked, it comes strapped, so you can cinch it down and hold it in place. But, I mean, my back is killing me, guys. Um, and this thing's not that heavy to me, so it's kind of nice. I'm not really kind of excited about it. It's actually pops out pretty big. So that's it, man. It's not a, it's not a big boat. It's definitely not small. So that, this thing has a lot more space in it than I would have thought when I first looked at it. So now it's stretched out here and stuff and partly on the ground. It's definitely um, a little bigger. It definitely folds up compact, but that was from the factory. I know once I fold it up, I'll probably be twice as big. Maybe not that much, but it'll definitely be bigger. So here it is. I'm going to back this up just a little bit so I get a better view. And I'm not going to bore you guys with it, but I'm going to go ahead and inflate this and see how long it takes to inflate it. And again, my back is a little messed up, so it'll be a good challenge for me today. So there we are, and um, I'll record again as I'm starting to inflate. All right, I'm back. I got it pumped up. I'm not going to lie. I used the electric pump for the just the first little bit. I used the, just a cheap little Black & Decker one that you can get at Target or wherever. It must be a $20 pump, maybe $25. But I'll say this, it, it really pumps it up pretty quick. Um, gets that initial first blast of air in there. And then, then I went ahead and topped it off with the hand pump. Now, I'm not gonna lie about this either. The factory pump sucked, absolutely sucked. Um, the Their little snap-on valve here, it's uh. I don't think it's that great. The hosing's kind of cheap. This whole thing seemed cheap. So I went over here, I used my Tech Sport double action hand pump. And it's got a, this is from Dave Scadden, um, but this little dap, I mean, it's just a piece of hose that's been necked down a little bit. And it just seals up inside of these valves real quick. And it was probably 10, 15 pumps at the most to top these guys off. So that was easy boats nice inflated um, pretty impressed with the material honestly it is it is durable um, at least it feels durable sitting out here in my, my back patio area um, the seat I went ahead and pumped it up just by hand it is it's pretty rock hard I mean it's it's got a little it's got a little give to it but we'll see how that works um, that's a little more give than I thought it would be so I might have to try to pump that up again I have a um, stand-up paddleboard it's inflatable that pump may be a little better than this second this double hand pump as far as the pressure will allow so that's a double stitched or drop stitched seat so that might be a little better pump for that but i'll tell you what this this foot pump crap i mean honestly they did not put a great pump in here not in my opinion at least um next thing that was kind of a pain and i've heard it's a pain by other people but this brace bar right here support bar whatever the heck you want to call it that sucker does not want to pop into those little holders it's a good, I mean, it ain't going to pop out real easy, but it's bad because it's just kind of a pain to get it in. But what I did here, let me zoom in a little bit on that one. I did some uh, CRC um, heavy duty silicone. Just sprayed the bar a little bit and popped right in. I mean, it still took a little effort, but nothing like it was. So that's where we're at right now. Um, again, overall, pretty happy with the durability of the boat just sitting here. I haven't attached any of the accessories to it. But one thing I wanted to point out here, and you know, I, I got a Dave Scadden um, Outlaw Renegade, and it's a really nice boat. Um, probably twice as much money as what this one costs. A little bit bigger. Um, design's very similar, but you know, two different boats. It's it's a bladderless. Um, question the material. This material here for being bladderless is fantastic. I mean, this is white water raft right here. This is like I've seen other reviewers say. This is probably the best material out there for a boat of its type. So, very impressed with that. Now, like I said, there's no directions, no paperwork, nothing that came in this. So, I don't know if that's standard with Caddis or if it was just my boat. Um, got a little marking on the on the body here. You can see that. So, that's from the factory. It's got some Velcro straps here. Not sure what they do yet. If anybody knows, definitely leave it in the comments. Now, one thing I found here was these two these two strap sets, and 
I wasn't sure what they were used for, or how they were used. And the other thing I had mentioned was these bags, they Velcro on, but there is there is a hook on each end. Now, I don't know if they can hook to those eyelets or not. I'm gonna try it out really quick. I'm gonna put you guys on pause because I'm just hand holding this and I'm the one doing this. So it's gonna look stupid if I try to show you on video hooking it up. But let me take a quick look and then I'm gonna tell you what those straps and the seat area is for. So bear with me. All right, I'm back. And yes, that is exactly what those bags do. They not only Velcro in place, as you can see the, the Velcro area there, and the eye rings front and back, those, those hook onto those hooks. So those bags, which is kind of nice. Here's the other one here, the second side. They're cheap, don't get me wrong. They're not uh, high quality, high quality snaps, but at least it does snap in place too. So you got not the Velcro only, but you have the, the snaps for extra, you know, safety. So I like that because I'll be honest with you, this thing's stable enough. I'll take my camera out with me at times and it's not a cheap camera. It's the last thing I do is lose it in the lake. So, you know, those bags don't strap on. It was going to concern me, but that was really nice. So let me, uh, I'm going to leave that one on. We're going to pick up these shoulder straps because that's what they are. They're little shoulder back straps. And on the boat itself, it's nice here. Didn't show that. But I got some, uh, these big caddis patches. Man, they're really proud of this. Four of these on this boat, man. <laughs> got to let everybody know this is the caddis platinum series, I guess. But they're, they're proud of it. And, you know, I'm, pretty happy with the boat so far haven't put it in the water yet but man that's pretty nice now got a little pull strap right here and right there on the back of the boat two eyelets well actually two on each side plus the center one i don't know what the center one's for yet might not even worry about that but those hooks there are so you can put the shoulder straps on and you can backpack this thing inflated and i'll tell you what this boat is light man I'm holding it with one finger. It's dangling off the ground. It is not bad at all. This is actually really impressive here. And like I said, my back is killing me. So everything I've been doing with this boat has been kind of a challenge today. But I'm gonna tell you, this might honestly be the coolest little pontoon boat yet. Um, question of mine is, how's this thing gonna oar? That is really what I'm concerned about. And there's nothing out there. Again, that's why I'm making this review, because there is nothing out here. Nobody's put anything on this boat in video form to say, you know, positive or negative. So far, everything I'm seeing is pretty positive. The front bar there, those locks, they're, they're a bugger, man. Those, those are definitely tough to put in. But a little silicone spray, and that takes care of that. Um, the, the big thing I'll have is, where's the seat at in sitting position? in reference to the oars and will that brace at all help me with oaring or does that just help keep the tunes themselves from uh, folding in because as you can see man there's this seat area here there's nothing solid here so that boat can you know move in on you the previous pontoon boats i've had um the dave scadden out um outlaw renegade which i currently have still the seat itself it inflates and is is a one piece so that is the rigid side that's what keeps it separated really nice um i've had the outcast and it's you know their frameless one and same thing the seat's part of that platform there this is just a, a piece of um, material that's webbed between and it, it can fold and everything else now one thing i'll say because of that this boat folds up flat and small it really does so that's a plus because the other boats with the seats built in the way they are, you actually, you know, you have a harder time folding those up and making them more compact. So I think this is gonna be a big, big plus for me. I got a little trailer right here. This is my camp trailer and my my forerunner. And this is what I haul this stuff around with. And like I said, my back kills me, man. Really getting to me today. And I don't wanna put a kayak on the roof. I've tried it. It's just too hard on me. Um, the trailer here, I thought about making a rack. It's not too bad. It, it's extra weight and just more stuff to catch. I like that it's very um, lightweight and just kind of a cool little trailer. And now this boat here, if I can get it back in that bag just the way it was, I'm going to be excited because it's going to fit my trailer without a problem. It'll fit in the back of my form. Shoot, it'll fit in the back of my form right now inflated. That's awesome. 
I can keep this thing inflated and move it around. I think that's beautiful. I can't do that with my other boats I've had. I've had the Hobie Cat um, hard shell one, which is pretty cool. You know, it's kind of a neat little boat. It's a kind of a rector set of a of a setup with the way the oar setups and everything go on there, and everything's these little, you know, push pins and stuff. But it's still kind of cool. And I've had the um, Venture Outdoor pontoon, very very similar to the Hobie Cat, hard shell plastic tunes uh, with the um, lightweight aluminum or alloy type uh, framework and you know the little jigsaw puzzle putting it back together and stuff but the, for the most part you keep the frame together and then just strap on the, the plastic pontoons and you're good to go but still a little weight um, don't have to worry about pops or anything like that um, kind of a pain to transport and put together this guy here man I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing and trust me I'll try to get a video of it here in the back of my forerunner or in my escape I got a 2014 escaped it I take two so this would be kind of fun on my buddy's pond I got a 24 acre pond I fish and I'm hoping this will be my little um getaway to the pond something quick and simple I can load it up drive 15 minutes to the my buddy's place fish his pond for a couple hours and be out of there and not be a bunch of work to make it happen so kind of excited I'm gonna go ahead and Put this on a pause, put that seat back in place, and uh, let's take a look how it looks together. And I will definitely give a live review with me using this. Because I'm just as curious how everybody else is out there that how does this boat perform? How's the oars work? And, and speaking of the oars, it was, I think I showed you the four four piece set, you know, for two pieces per oar. So and one of the things that people have made a comment of, just so everybody knows, is these valves in the front. They're on the tip. Which is kind of a strange place, really. And, and at first, I wasn't really thinking too much about it. You know, they, what's the big deal? So, if you're going to put it down, on, keep it inflated and put it on the ends. All right, put, put a towel down on each side. You know, a piece of foam or something for it to sit on. That's, that's, an, that's not a deal breaker. But what I don't like, and I thought about it after I was inflating it, is, you know, there's no directions. There's nothing. There's nothing telling me how to, what the pressure should be on this boat anything the seat nothing it's kind of a mystery for me and i'm going to see if there's some documentation i can find but these valves being where they're at i, I don't know if you've been in a pontoon boat or not inflatable but when you get out in the water in the sun they tend to build a little more pressure in them and it's nice to be able to have the valve close to handy where you can just pop it down a little bit and release a little pressure real easy this is going to be a little tougher man i feel like i'm going to tip my boat over tip you know forward trying to lean in forward enough to pop some air out so you know one of those things that you're going to keep in mind uh, you know run to shore or whatever catch some shallows where you can stand up and do it but that's that's my negative right now um, besides this bar being really a bear to put in place but like i said once you once you lubed it a little bit it was good and it's brand new so maybe it needs to stretch just a hair and the fact that maybe it will stretch it's being tight it's a good thing so it won't you know overstretch. so I'll be right back with the uh, seat in place and um, anything else I find that I might share with this review. All right, I'm back. Um, I went ahead and put the straps on here. My wife came out, it was kind of funny. I was showing her how white light it is and pretty impressed with the material. And she, uh, she was actually playing with it a little bit and really impressed with how, how strong this uh, outer shell is. She thinks it's, it's definitely a high quality material too. So. These are your backpack straps. I gave it a try. Should have had her take a quick picture of me with, me with it on. Um, it wasn't too bad. It's actually uh, pretty easy to carry that way. Um, it's, it's not that bad to just carry it like this. I mean, I got it on my thing and just give it a quick carry, man. Huh? See my shadow here. Just kind of moseying on with my big little thing. You see my hand up here holding it. But uh, yeah, not too bad. So. That is your uh, backpack strap. So obviously you take those off before you launch, but I'm gonna leave them on right this second, just for this purpose. So we can see here, you got the seat inflated. I had it in place, but I'll be honest with you, that Velcro, it's all right, but it definitely is not the, uh, the best way to strap something down. I think they, you know, it kept the weight down. It's not too bad. It seems pretty stout. So when you're sitting there, your seat is just a big floating cushion. They've come off. There's nothing, nothing strapping it down other than Velcro and 
and the weight of your ass against it. So just want to make sure everybody's aware of that. But the seat seems pretty good. I mean, I, like I said, once I take this thing out in the pond, I'll give a, a use and video review on it and see what it, you know how it looks. Since it's myself, I'll just put my uh, tripod up on the, the little dock at my friend's place and uh, make sure the video is in the right position so you can kind of see it in action. And I will uh, share my thoughts on it at that point. But as of right now, I'm going to go ahead and put this video to, video to close. Um, well, actually, you know what? I'll do a little more on this. I'm going to pause it and I'm going to deflate everything and I'm going to get it all laid out and put it in the bag. And I'd like to let everybody know how that was because that's, you know, that's the other thing that matters. So I can do that for you right now. And then we'll just do the, um, the actual use review after this. So, um, everything's good. Just recap pump. Uh, maybe it was me, but I think it's, you know, this sucks compared to what's out there. Um, I like the fact that it fits in the bag with everything. I'll see if I can get this one to fit in the bag if I can then perfect i'll go ahead and just use this other pump because this thing's this thing's the bomb it, it will definitely do the job um the stripping apron didn't even try it uh, i don't normally use the stripping apron a whole lot i might try it with this boat um, it's smaller the way it's set up it might be kind of kind of useful so i will uh again once i'm in action and you know using it i will uh we'll see how that stripping apron works <laughs> it looks like that stripping apron is supposed to actually wrap around this bar anyhow so i got it wrong so i gotta pull the bar off and put the stripping apron on the bar and then put the bar in place so it helps keep your stripping apron kind of uh, sturdy which is actually nice compared to a lot of them i see and it looks like it would tie into those uh rear eyelets right here by the oars so it give you an actual little apron area so that might not be bad uh, this might be the first apron i actually kind of like would use so i'll share that with everybody and I'll uh, go ahead and put the video on pause at this moment and I'll get everything packed back up and let you know how it all goes and if it fits back in that bag because that right now obviously won't fit. But we'll, uh, we'll make it fit and we'll see how that goes. I will talk to you shortly. Bye. All right. Um, got it all folded up. Everything's kind of just laid out here so everybody can see the contents one more time. Your seat it deflated really fast and folded up pretty flat. The ra the actual pontoon, I gotta say, man, um, because the way the seat comes out, and when you pull the bags off and stuff, you deflate this guy. It folds up back to where it was at. I'm impressed. Is it quite as tight as it was from the factory? No. I already opened it up earlier and put it back on the strap, and it, after having it inflated, it actually is just as tight as it was before I. Uh, inflated it so I'm impressed with that so you got your two bags your little patch kit your questionable pump your stripping apron and it does have to go on the pole before it's installed just so you guys know it's not velcroed in or anything so that has to be installed after um, before the bars are put in place so everything's pretty nice um the paddles i didn't pull them out of the bag they're just standard paddles they'll work um like i said this thing's not heavy white water use or anything so it's not like I'm going to be bouncing off of rocks or my life depending upon these things, you know, well, they might in a sense, but in reality, I doubt it. So there we go. Um, this will all go inside of this big bag right here. Uh, it's pretty nice, actually. The bag bag's pretty, um, got a lot of space in there. It's a big opening, so it's not like you're trying to stuff something in really tight, you know. So I will um, get that in there. I will do a quick little video of that once it's in and uh, share, share my impression one more time and that is pump is so-so the support brace is tight to put on a little silicone spray takes care of that probably even spit on it if you had to uh, just need something to allow it to slip on that rubber a little better the boat material is outstanding the seat just questioning if it's going to really be you know that stable in there no straps no nothing so that that's kind of the only thing i got concerned but that will be you know proven what it is or isn't you know, is it, if it's an issue or not once i once i use it the back of the seat i don't know if you can see those two little flaps um right there you know the in, the hole there for the inflating it deflating it this, this sits kind of a bit above them those are supposed to be rod holders now i can see how that would work i guess but 
kind of generic in a way to you know the making it a rod holder i don't know how easy it's going to be to try to put a fishing pole in there when you're sitting in the boat that's going to be the trick and you know because it's like right on the very back of you it's not beside you it's right behind you so they're marketing as rod holders two of them we'll see again that would be something that will i'll show in action once i get the boat out to the pond oh, and hopefully my back stops hurting here pretty soon i got uh, first two weeks of september off last of my vacation so hope to get out there and use it in there for sure and uh, take it to some alpine lakes up towards stanley maybe the trinity mountain area hit hill hill roaring lake or something like that or big roaring i guess it's big roaring lake there hill roarings in the sawtooth so uh, not talking i'll go and get this thing back in the box in the package or it's bag whatever the hell you want to call it and uh, we'll see how that goes and if you got any questions again um definitely put them in the comments below um i'm not a pro at this video and stuff i just wanted to share something with everybody that i haven't been able to find myself and that's what motivated me to make this video was there's nothing on this boat man other than the written reviews there's nobody's done a video review on it nobody's laid it out nobody's talked about it nobody's pointed out the features that you know you can backpack this thing you know the rod holders there they are you know they're actually there this thing you know the boat comes with a little strap there once you fold it up you got your little straps so it stays in place which is nice um, the bags do velcro on and they clip in place so that's a nice feature so realistically i think so far my biggest dislike on this is the pump and that's pretty easy to resolve most people want to use electric pump anyhow but i even after using electric pump i didn't feel this thing was really that easy to get in place and and actually pump it the rest of the way up with that foot pump so I'll give it one more try uh, before I condemn it and say it's, you know, crap. But right now, I'm, I'm labeling it as crap. So let's be just straightforward on that one. So if I change my mind, I'll, I'll share that with everybody. Have a great day, and thanks for watching my video. All right. I'm actually going to show you guys bagging this thing up. I was pretty impressed with it and how easy this is to put back in the bag. So I'm part of my video in here. Again, that's myself. So I'm going to start with the seat. I just got to sit on the top of the bottom. Put the seat in first, nice and flat. Kind of make sure it's all the way in the very bottom of the bag. So it's there nice. Next thing I'm gonna do is pick up the boat itself. This is nice and light, man. I'm telling you, I'm so happy about how, how light this is. With my back taken like this, that's really nice. So that's in there. One thing I did, I did this on the first time I put it in there. I just kind of pre zipped the sides a little bit. So we kind of form the bag. It's, like I said, it's pretty loose. It's a it's a very uh, spacious bag. Next thing I did, I wanted to put the paddles and the pump in. Pump I just kind of set in the corner here. And then the paddles I just kind of stuck diagonally. So that all holds up nice. Now it's going to start tipping over. It's going to put it on the ground now. And I got this nice big bag, as you can see. And everything just kind of goes right in. It's not a, it's not a struggle. It's, uh, it's really nice. Put my bags in there. Throw the kit. My stripping apron in there. And this thing just zips up so nice. Boom! There it is. Ready to go. That's the whole package. Everything's in there. So I thought I'd just show how fast and easy that was to actually pack it back up. So I um, didn't want you guys to miss that since it was pretty simple. That's another nice feature there for sure. So there you have it. The Caddis Platinum Elite Pontoon Boat from Caddis Sports Incorporated up in, I guess, Washington. This is made in China. Um, there ain't no paperwork on this thing. There's not much, so. It is a durable PVC material, it says, and it is welded PVC bladderless construction, bladderless drop stip inflatable seat cushion for unsurpassed comfort. We'll see if that's actually true. Unsurpassed comfort, that's a pretty strong word. And so fully rotating lockers, lock and order stabilizer bar, the removable equipment pockets and the foot pump, carry strap, patch kit, and carry bag included. So there you have it, people. One pretty cool boat. It's not the cheapest one out there. I paid uh, just under 500. It was like 469 or something like that. I forget what it was now. Four, 476 is what it was. Um, I got a 10% off coupon I used as a new customer. So 
it helped. I wasn't a new customer, but the coupon worked because me and you being a new customer, so I'm not gonna complain. So there you have it. So for under 500 bucks, it seems so far to be damn good. It's gonna be questioned how it is actually on the water, but in person, touching it, unpackaging it, packaging it back up, playing with it, I like it. Biggest complaint, you heard it, you heard it twice, heard it probably three times, the pump sucks. That's just my opinion. So thanks again for watching and enjoy the video. Bye-bye.